Hello there, it's Steve once again from Music Academy and Staley Bridge and today we're back with our Tuna Day Book 1 for our guitar. We are still currently on page 8, uh, but we have moved on from the, uh, the G and A exercises and we have moved on to the D, E and F exercises. It seems as though we're moving in steps down the strings. We are now on the 4th string, which is our D string, um, and we will be covering, as, as the piece says, D, E and F, which is open. 2nd fret, so you want to use your 2nd finger, and 3rd fret for the F, which you want to use your ring finger for, okay? Now it's very important that you use your ring finger on this one. Um, you really want to train this finger as much as possible. Same goes with anything on the 4th fret that you can get your little finger involved on. You want to get them moving and used to playing as quickly as possible. Um, just to, It helps with chords as well. These fingers are invaluable, but they're also the hardest to get to listen to you. <laughs> They are the hard, most difficult to train, the most frustrating to play with for beginners. So um, be sure to not not wimp out on it, okay? Um, be sure to use them. So, <clears throat> for this one, it's basically just a case of each bar has four crotchets in it and takes one note, okay? So this is fairly simple, okay? But uh, let's get started. say I'm not a fan of that last bar that has just D's in it following the F it sounds awful I mean it's not supposed to sound good to be fair it is just exercise but it really wasn't pleasing at all um, but that's D E and F march again this is just an introduction to these notes also introduction to getting that third finger the ring finger involved for the F there very important that you work that in as best you can um, that's about all there is to say for it. The next few pieces, if we're following the trend that we have done so far, the next couple of pieces are going to revisit these techniques but just stretch them a little bit, make them a little harder to accomplish. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, as always, it's been a pleasure. Um, take it easy and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye. We hope you like our content and if you do, make sure you subscribe to our channel to make sure you don't miss anything that's coming up.